All right, let's go ahead and get ready for test number eight. Test number eight, so we're going to clear your desks or workstations of everything, except for a clean sheet of paper. Could be graph paper if you wanted to be, doesn't have to be. Uh, pencil, straight edge, yeah, that should be it. So you definitely want a straight edge, you definitely want a pencil, maybe a good eraser, um, <clears throat> and that extra sheet of paper that you may need just in case. All right, when you're ready, go and get your test eight. Test eight, put your first and last name in the name spot and today's date in the date spot. First and last name in the name spot, today's date in the date spot. And before we begin, let's go ahead and pray. Lord, I thank you so much for these video students. I pray that you'd help them now as they take this test to remember the things that they've learned and worked on. Lord, help them to do their very best, not to make careless mistakes, but to be careful with all their calculations, to be very neat and careful with graphing. Um, Lord, careful with the fraction stuff later on, to be, pay attention to the little details. Pray this would be their very best work. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, let's go and take a look at test eight together very quickly. First page, multiple guess, <clears throat> multiple choice. Choose the letter of the word or words that best complete each statement. Uh, pretty straightforward there. Page two, small short answer section. Uh, got a couple of things there for 12 and 13 to write out. Numbers 14 and 15, some intercepts to find. Uh, not graphing anything on 14 and 15. Numbers 16, 17, and 18. You're gonna put all of those on that first graph grid there. So uh, be sure to set up the, uh, the axes appropriately, mark and label them. And then two points to plot for 16, 17. Then number 18, uh, there's a little room to work because there's three ways you could do number 18. Uh, but you pick whichever method you want on 18, graph that equation. 19 and 20, again, choose whatever methods you want for those, but put both of those equations onto the second graph grid. All right, so first graph grid should have two points and an extra line. 19 and 20 should have two lines graphed on them. Page three. Uh, I got four different slopes pictured. Describe the slope of the line using the terms given in class. 25 and 26, I've given you two points. Find the slope of the line that would pass through those two points. 27 through 29, you're finding the equations of these various lines with the given information. And we will want those equations in slope-intercept form. First three pages, all graphing. We change gears big time here on page four, numbers 30 through 32. You've got some equations with fractions in them, some rational equations there, solve for x. If there's more than one answer, be sure to include all answers. Be sure to show your work. Numbers 33 and 34, um, if you write small, there should be enough room to work. The extra paper is, if you needed to uh, work these out on paper, give yourself plenty of room. Be sure to show all your steps and be sure to include any excluded values with your simplified complex fractions. By the way, on 30 through 32, if you needed to rework something uh, on paper, you've got your paper there. If you work on your own paper, be sure to send a picture with that as well with the uh, scans of the test, and of course, label which problems are which. Page five, I have two word problems for you, uh, 35 and 36. Should be room enough to show all the work right there, do all the work on the test copy. And then there's a bonus for you as well, and uh, so, Again, should be plenty of room to work that also. All right, do your best, work carefully, work accurately. You may begin.